Wow, this place is really nice. What room is this again? Very sure I have template. Alright. Green car. Uh... Is there AIs? Oh. I guess that's- <laughs> This is sick. I've already tried out the strike before. This turn is pretty nice. This turn is actually a little sharp over here. You come up the hill, get a little bit of air time, get you a little sideways. Then over here, I hate the ramp, because if you go on it, look what happens. Well, that didn't happen. But the cones, you usually land in the middle of them. Like, yeah, whatever that is. So coming around this turn, you're able to handbrake to get speed. The cars are in the way. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. We're gonna do one more lap. But yeah, this part right here, I want the thing that I wanted to show you. Hitting the ramp slowly is easy. But if you were to hit it at full speed, the problem is why do you have cones here? Like your car could be going too fast, so you can't really do this. I'm going even slow when I can't do it, because it, it's too much. I'll come back around in the next corner, just give me a second while oh, my baby car. Yeah. Alright, we're back over here, but let's go full speed and see what happens. Does that weird thing, and if you don't look straight, it does that. And now I'm going to go full speed into them cones, and it's not going to work. Well, maybe because I just suck at driving in cones, but... Well, let's just see. Try and go full speed. You know what? If you want to do that, you have to... If you want to do that, you're going to have to, like, do... A two-pipe speed run. Like this. Instead of the other kind. Because that's really going to get in the way of you. Uh, races, if you have any more. And ramps over here, I have no idea why they're over here. I guess let's try them out full speed in the air. You bounce in the air, like 50 feet in the air, and then yeah. And if you hit the tires in the back wheel, you could possibly start flying in the air. And you could also cut right there. It's just because I had a racetrack here, but I lost it for some reason. Anyway, everyone knows why, because I got banned, but still. But yeah, that's, uh, I guess, oh yeah, the, yep, I guess that's, uh, it, I just wanted to show the problems here, cause, uh, it's really annoying coming to the ramp, and then you just die, and people will cut over here, like, they will launch onto this, and then they'll cut over the guardrail if they can make it, I think it's actually faster coming through over here, though. By the way, I'm pretty sure this is going to come out, like... By the way, I'm recording this on, like, May 12th or 11th, by the way. So this might be coming out, like, next week for me. By the way, I just don't even know time I recorded this. But let's... I'm waiting for the thing to budge a little bit. It always glitches. Now let's go full speed on this. Can the handbook give me a little power? See, it launches you far, and yeah, that's the bounce that I'm talking about. Like in the first VR Rec Racing series, there's like the one track, like, uh, I could probably show you an example sometime, but uh, it, it was like this. You go over like things like this, exactly like this, and there were walls, and you kept on doing it every turn. It was flat ground, and then it turned into the same turn. And after that, you go to the left. And then after you go to the left, you go straight, and then you go right, and you go right again, back, and then go right again, straight to the finish line. That's what it was. I'm pretty sure a mobile player won that, by the way. This video might be, a. Uh, this video probably isn't helpful, but, yep, okay, we're on the final lap, we might as well finish it. Now that we finished the race, uh... Yeah, I like going through here and then dodging all the cones, because that's better. And after you come off of that, you might fly near a little bit. The, the racetrack that I raced at is RTT Raceway. 
It stands for a racetrack from point A to A. Yep, that, yep, that's exactly what I was talking about. You go over the ramp, just boom, and like weird stuff happens. I get, I'm guessing all this over here that I just ran into is invisible CVT. Oh uh, yeah, th they did really good on this game, but the track, not so much. It's smooth, but if you come off the hill, it's really hard, and the backstretch just sucks completely, because you will die if you race here. I know this is meant to be a bit, but that isn't, it isn't really a bit, you know what, it isn't even a bit, anyways. what am I talking about? Alright, yeah, let's just, yep, that's exactly right. I rate this room, uh, 6 out of 10, because the, the CV2 is really good, because when you start the race, you're just like, well, that didn't work. But, uh, yeah, the, the the little race thing and the commentator guy that's not even in the room is pretty good. It's just that the ramps and uh, stuff on the backstretch isn't so good. But they did really well on making, like, a buggy. Like, these buggies. But I recommend if Rec Room ever actually sees this, which they will never probably see this, uh, please make actual, like, good, like, race cars. Like, not buggies. But yeah, I rate this room 7 out of 10. The room is called Racetrack Template, but I'm gonna like it, not favorite it, because it's not too good of a track. You can clone it, it has 5,500, no, 556,000 digits, I'm stupid. And then 7.7k, and then 8.2 favorites. Yeah. You can go check it out for yourself, and uh, this guy just has some random thing called cool. So, uh, yeah, you can attend it for yourself. Uh, goodbye, I guess. Alright, I found this random account for a millisecond when I pressed on someone's profile. Someone tell me who this is. Who is he? Why is his name like...